What's up, YouTube family? This is Jeff for Little Bit Everything Home Services, coming to you with another video. And today, we're gonna to be changing out a water heater. Um, and it's an electric water heater. One of the things you wanna have, if, if you can, is get you one of these handy dandy Milwaukee transfer pumps. This pump right here is an excellent pump. It's battery operated, and I've done videos with it before, uh, but I figure I'd do another one uh, just in case someone had any additional questions to show you the whole process and what I'll be doing is when I hook it up to the to the the um, Water heater I am going to be using a Short hose I'll be using this this shorter hose and I'm gonna hook one end up It's both of them have two female ends on the hose one is gonna hook up to the on this pump right here is gonna hook up to the incoming side and you will see what i mean by the incoming side see this arrow right here that's the incoming so the the shorter hose is going to hook up to here and to the water heater and then you're going to have the longer hose running out you want to make sure the shorter hose is hooked to the water heater so it doesn't have that uh it doesn't crush the uh the uh water hose because that suction pressure well, it's so strong, it can flatten the hose and restrict your flow. So uh, I'll show you that here in just a moment. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up this side here. And this end I'm gonna hook up, like I said, to the water heater. I'll be right back. All right, family, so like I was saying, the transfer pump, you hook the water hose to the water heater right here. I'm gonna hook my other water hose to the outgoing of the transfer pump. And of course I have the water shut off to the water heater. They actually have two, normally I shut the water off to the house, but in this, in, in this case today, they actually have shut off valves on top of the water heater. So I have those shut off valves closed. Except for the hot water valve, I have it open so I can allow air to be able to escape through so it can flow well. So this is gonna run outside. This, pump, this hose right here. Okay, family, so I am going to open up the water heater valve, drain valve here. There we go. We're good and open. Now, haven't turned it on yet. All right. Now I'm gonna turn on the transfer pump. And as you can see, family, this water is coming out at a... <laughs> Look at the rate that's coming out of there. With that transfer pump going. Without the pump, it would be draining very, very slowly. And it would take hours to drain. At this rate right here, we're looking at about 20 minutes. Okay, family, so I open up that, like I said earlier, I open up that hot water, uh, just a hot water faucet in the bathroom to allow that pressure to release and it started, I mean, it picked up even more as you can see. So uh, just want to take a moment to show that. And I want to thank you for taking the time to check out the video. If you have any questions, you know, just go ahead and and put it in the comment section. I'll get back with you. And don't forget to subscribe and like. If, if the content that you're seeing is something helpful for you, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for taking time to check out the video. Talk to you soon. Have a blessed day.